Alright, so this is the weekly reading for Capricorn. Um, I do have a song for you. I don't really have a playlist. Um, the triple A uh, Climax Jump. So it's listed down below if you want to see how that's spelled. But yeah, I I was I was just vibing out and I'm like that's a weird thing to think about. Um, I wonder if that's a song or something. I looked it up and sure enough it is somewhat of a song. <laughs> I was like, okay. But yeah, it, it, it weird stuff comes to mind when I just vibe out. So anyway, your first card is going to be you right now, which is going to be the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands Increasing confidence, pushing yourself, uh, responsibility, accomplishment, exercising your willpower, a good ending if you work for it. So a giant burden. <laughs> so you could be having to meet deadlines. You might have a, an activity or a project you're working on and it's kind of getting a little bit overwhelming, but it could be like rewarding at the same time. So um, I feel like you're going to keep working until it's done, alright, so it's not a bad energy to have, I guess, um, as long as it's not kind of burdensome because it's for somebody else, that, that would be a little bit, uh, too much, I think. So, number two, we have the week's theme with the judgment card, um, so a calling you don't ignore, fresh starts, reflecting, reckoning. Um, great opportunities, transformation, awakening, change in status. So there's a bit of a either step up or step down, depending on what your situation is. So um, I do feel like it's a step up though, you know, um, because it is like a destiny call. It's not something that's going to be taken lightly. Um, also, also. There's, like, somebody getting on a plane. I don't know if it's, like, a private plane or it's, like, just a commercial plane. But, like, it seems kind of exclusive, alright? So, you might be going on a trip with somebody or you're trying to make a, a good impression on somebody. Or this could be yours, like, nice. But anyway, um... <laughs> It's making an impact, okay? So, it, that's kind of what it looks like. Alright? Anyway. Um, let's see. I keep saying, um, but it's like, to, to make myself comfortable. It's freezing in my room, and it's the middle of summer, so what are you gonna do? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like a drinking game. You, every time I say, um, you can have a drink of water. Um, so... Now I can't stop doing it because I'm self-aware. Anyway, number three is challenge. The challenge is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is great things on repeat, getting good results, lottery, gambling wins, change, inevitable fate, cycles, destiny, and fate being in your favor. So, the, this could be a little bit of a challenge because maybe it's like a stop and go thing. You actually had to put in work in order to get um, rewarded. But I feel like it is a rewarding thing that you're doing and it's helping a lot of people. So it might take a while, but you're seeing results. So, you know. Um, number four, a lesson to remember is judgment. Judgment. You will get what you deserve for the better. Positive legal outcomes. Cause and effect. Clarity. Um, truth. Uh, good uh, contrast. And um, commitments being made. So there could be um, some contracts. Or there could be some new business ventures that you're going for. It could be, um, like with a corporation. Maybe you invented something or you created something that is being used by a corporation or a business. That's kind of a, a big deal. <laughs> okay, so, um, 
Yeah, you might actually be signing contracts or being signed on for a bigger thing than what you are right now. So it's, I, I think it's important to read contracts thoroughly with a legal um, representative so you understand what you're signing. You don't want to be like gypped where like they get 60 and you only get 40 of what you put into your own company. I mean, that's not fair, you know, but, you know, you, you have to read it and make sure that you understand everything. I would make sure that I sign a contract that says that I have royalties, okay, because with royalties, it continues. Every time you sell one, you get a royalty for that. Every time somebody advertises it, you get a royalty for that. If somebody's using it at an event, you get a royalty for that. Every single time it's advertised, talked about, or shown on TV, you get a royalty for that. Okay, so if it's that type of product, hopefully it is. It becomes a big deal, and you get royalties. I would make sure that there's royalties on it. If there's something you don't like on, or on a uh, contract, you mark it out and you sign at the end of the paper. Usually you have to do like your your initials, but um yeah, it's and then you have to put renegotiate. But um usually people are receptive and they'll try to renegotiate or compromise with you or kind of find out what you want out of the deal, you know, it's that type of renegotiation. So Make sure that you always, always have a royalty agreement in a contract, especially when it's with a product or something that has your face on it or something to that effect. So then you're not being gypped or you're not getting the short end of the stick because, believe you me, if you read the contracts, a lot of them are like bait and switch. You have to make sure that you are getting a fair deal. Get an attorney, make sure you negotiate, make sure you get your voice heard and make sure you get a royalty make sure you get a couple other things okay related to the product or what your what your invention is because you don't want to be like oh yeah I'll sign this contract and not really read it so then you're wondering why you're not getting paid and you signed a contract that says all the benefits and proceeds and patents go to the company that signed you on and you don't get anything. That's not really fair, you know, it's like, it's not, it's not a good situation and you're going to be pissed if that happens. It's kind of like the Disney thing with Oswald, you know, <laughs> couldn't take the character even though the original creator of it made it, but worked for a guy that kind of took credit for the creation of it. Um, so... We have number five. With lesson to learn, we have the two of cups in reverse. So, um, sticking around because you feel sorry for somebody. Tension somebody else sticking around because they feel sorry for you. Imbalance, broken communication. So, there is a break in communication in your relationship. So, there might be a... might be something going on with the family or it might be something going on with your partner's family or something to that effect and I feel like it's kind of like a touch and go a game of phone tag by the time you get the information it might be too late or it might be past it so you kind of feel like a dick but it's it's one of those things where it was avoided for you in order to pursue what you wanted Okay, so don't take don't take it upon yourself too hard. I just feel like it's a different type of energy this week, especially with a super moon. A lot of opportunities are coming your way that usually wouldn't, and you need to jump at all of them. If something happens with the family, it's kind of like gonna be like fizzled over, and nobody's gonna know about it until after the super moon, which is gonna be a problem. But it's, it's probably gonna be. Um, you probably will hear about it on July 1st, if I'm not mistaken, so just remember that one. Anyway, so we have corruption in the workplace, a need to balance out 
a backbreaking or exhausting workload, a competitive career, a thrill seeker, a successful athlete, and a lucky streak. So there's some type of lucky thing here. Um, also, your workplace could just be terrible. But anyway, number six, we have gift. Gift you give yourself is going to be the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is action being taken. Let's see. Um, things being done and a change in home. Fearlessness, something tangible, uh, getting the job done, a go-getter, an adventure. So, like I said, there's going to be a lot of work-related things. You might sign contracts. You might be doing stuff. But make sure, if it's you personally, you need to protect yourself and make sure you get royalties and you're getting a paycheck from this experience. If it's in the workplace, you're going to have to make sure that you negotiate to the point of either A, getting more money, B, getting a title, or C, getting a work office that comes with all the other two that I just listed. But, um, yeah. Never never think that or assume it's going to happen. Always make sure that you have comfortable attributes to your workplace. I myself have a rolling chair that is different from everybody else's. I asked specifically when I got promoted to have the boss's chair. And I got it. Um, so <laughs> you can do it too. But, yes, make sure that you have accommodations if you're getting, like, you know, promoted or you're getting a different job or you're getting promoted to a job that you always wanted. Make sure it's everything that you always wanted because if it's not, you're going to have a problem and then you're going to want to leave. And then years from now, you're going to be like, oh, I had the job that I always wanted. I had to leave because it wasn't comfortable enough. You know, it's one of those things. Anyway. A Capricorn, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. Like I say, life is a journey. Always be ready to ask for what you want or what you feel you deserve. There is also points of negotiation <laughs> for said things. But usually, you get what you need in order to do the job that you were assigned to. People in workplaces are usually appable to give you an inch as long as you don't do other things that would question your integrity okay anyway thank you capricorn hopefully this helps you out in some way shape or form and you kind of get what i'm saying um if you're getting promoted make sure you have certain things because you don't want to have the same type of job when you got promoted. You know, it's ridiculous. Usually I have an incentive in mind for why I got promoted in the first place. And usually you get money. I usually like getting certain comforts when I get promoted or I get a pay raise. So you kind of have something to look forward to. I like being rewarded in the workplace because I like getting incentives. I like having things that other people do not have. Okay. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you ask for what you want. And if they want to negotiate, well, ne negotiate is fine. But, you know, is that there, there has to be a p certain point where one thing's not negotiable, okay? So, anyway. It has to be definite or not. One thing. Definite. Anyway. So, I will see you in the next one, alright? Later.